Good morning, everyone. I thought today I would start out by just uh, letting you know what some of us are doing, kind of, quote, behind the lines. Last week I was somewhat close to the front lines. It's not really too busy at KU yet, as everybody says. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you what everybody's doing to try to prepare for the potential um, rush or onslaught of patients that may be coming um, our way. So there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and in the background <clears throat> in terms of reducing our uh, patient visits and patient loads. There's no elective surgeries at the hospital and uh, the clinics are essentially closed except for televisits and urgent visits. Uh, so uh, trying to reduce the number of patients, the number of beds, so that we'll have plenty of space and people will have time they need to take care of acutely ill patients. So on the research side, this has been my life uh, in terms of cancer research and clinical trials and devoting uh, my entire career to trying to find new and better treatments for patients with cancer. And as of last week, <clears throat> we had to close down enrollments to new patients on trials, and this is being done, unfortunately, across the country, which is very, very, very disappointing to those of us in the research field, but we do understand the reasons why, and um, uh, I trust the people making these decisions, and I know they're making the right decisions, and we will follow them. Um, but I just want to show you what's happened here, and how we go through our <coughs> day, and in fact, uh, this is kind of the way that when you go into the hospital through any entrance, um, we have to be uh, monitored, make sure we're not sick. And this is any entrance into uh, KU right now. And I think it probably should be standard practice anywhere that people are going in, just to make sure that this get message gets driven home. So as I walk in, I have to stop, and Letty is going to take my temperature. Yes, sorry. Say hi, Lev. Hi. <laughs> She's one of our rumors in our um, cancer center upstairs, so she's going to take my temperature and then give me a sticker. Your temperature is 98.2. I pass. I can enter, right? Yes, you can enter. You have no fever. Okay. There you go. Let's stick it right here so people see it. That gets me in trouble. And then, we walk in, if you're a visitor, you have to sign in. And here's one of our lovely security guards, Tammy, who always greets us with a smile every day. <laughs> and Kim, hey, hey. somebody told him to keep an eye out for me, and he was yeah. stretching it to watch me. And got them one eye on Yeah, it got it strained, so he's got to wear a patch. So, <clears throat> so they're all very nice, and they protect us. And they have a difficult job because they have to stop people who normally come in and especially after the temperature takers are gone uh, nobody can really come back into the building and this is our normally very busy crowded uh, regulatory and study coordinator research um, office this is where all of our support staff for our clinical trials uh, sit these are the people who help write consent forms submit amendments help process the protocols enter the data um, and as you can see there is nobody here all we have is just me so i have a patient i'm going to have to talk to this afternoon i have work to do and uh oh tina was supposed to be here but she's a project director <coughs> so and all of our doctor's offices are right now empty, I think. Um, 
most are seeing their patients on telemedicine, except for patients who are on treatment. Um, so we're doing everything remotely. And this is pretty much the way it is across the hospital. Doing social distancing, everything we can to prevent infection among ourselves, and definitely to prevent spreading any infection to our patients. <clears throat> so, uh, so this is it for today. Tomorrow uh, we will go up and I will show you the uh, some of the nursing staff up in the treatment area upstairs where we have patients who are on treatment for experimental cancer treatments. So I hope you all have a lovely day. And at least in Kansas City, it's a very nice spring day. So hopefully you can get out and enjoy the day, but be sure to stay away from other people. That's very, very important. Please help us all. Take care. Bye.